Talk, and welcome to another exciting episode of My Filipino Adventure. And this is showing off some of our gardening. Look at these zucchinis. We got three big zucchinis. We got some bell peppers here. Um, we've already eaten one of them. And we've gotten a couple tomatoes. And let me show you what else is going on. Flower. Um, these are um, cayenne peppers. So I planted a bunch of them in one pot. I was planning on repotting them, but I don't know, we'll probably take a few of these out. And these are the serrano peppers, our weird sunflower. Here are getting some, oops, some radishes, and it looks like we've even gotten some carrots. It looks like they're forming. This is our fall crop. Some cucumbers, some radishes, some beets, some, what are those? Must be uh, broccoli. Yeah, your bee. These are, there's some plants in here growing. These are some onions. This is our hydroponics. So the lettuce is growing. It's kind of weird though. They're, they seem really weak. Like the, the stems are real weak. They're not really strong, but they're getting leaves and that's all I care about. But just wondering why the, they're not growing up. It's like the bases are real weak. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but inside the house, the lettuce that we started a little while ago is doing pretty good. Same thing though, it's like weak, weak stems. But this is the red or black seed Simpson. Here I tore up all the broccoli because it was all spent. And got a nice little compost pile going there. And uh, I planted some of the serranos down here in the ground, three of them. And this is some tomatoes that started coming up on accident. We must have thrown some tomato waste in the compost pile and they started. But these beans, they don't look like they're very big. I thought they got bigger than that, but did she harvest some? Oh, yeah, look, here we go. Look at it. Green beans. Green beans. So we're going to be eating some beans. And let's go over here. i got to mow the lawn today. I worked all week and didn't have a chance. Now, I harvested the zucchini. Now, this is just one zucchini plant. It's massive. It's taking over this whole garden here. But this one here is the squash. Oh, look. Squash. We got a little squash going. Um, but the squash plant is over here. It looks like it's dead, but it just kind of grew over here and took off. Here we've got some beans. More beans. Beans! Still got some peppers going. This tomato plant here wasn't doing too good. Then we started giving it more water. And it looks like it's flowering at least. And this sucker here, we got tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Oh, this one turning red. We already took two tomatoes off here so far. So this one's going to produce a hell of a lot of tomatoes. And over here we've got cucumbers, cucumbers, okay. cucumbers, cucumbers. Ooh, it's a nice one right here. Cucumbers. So, quite a few cucumbers. And uh, this zucchini. Oh, there's another zucchini down there. So it's producing pretty darn good. So I can't complain. Our very first uh, garden is really producing pretty good. And then over here, we're going to uh, plant the fall garden. I don't know if we have enough time, but I watched the video where the guy says, no, this is a good time to plant cool weather crops. So if we can uh, keep it going before the first freeze comes, we might be in pretty good shape. So we'll see. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious and easy vegetable bake, which you can just eat this. You don't even need anything else. Before, when I was living alone, I would just sometimes just make a plate of this and 
I wouldn't make anything else. Just make this. That's, so, uh, this is a huge one. What's this? Sweet potato. Yeah, it's like a camotes. Yeah, this is camote. Well, it's just like one. I think, I'm not sure. I think camote is a Yeah, same way, camote. Is it? Yes. Off. Okay, so we're just going to cube this up. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's all cubed. Okay, so that that's quite a bit. Usually I don't buy such a big sweet potato. But there's cut up your yams, camote, sweet potatoes, whatever you want to call them. Now we're going to attack. This is right from our garden. I'm going to grab the smaller one. This one's the older one, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to this one. We're gonna cube this all up, and I'll show you that when we're done. We're just gonna make it kind of like that. Okay, so I got the zucchinis all cubed up, and we're gonna take cauliflower. And we're gonna do the same thing to the cauliflower, but I don't think I'm gonna use all of it though. Okay, so the cauliflower is the zucchini and the camotes. If you have a tomato, you can put tomato in there too, or a regular potato, but this is so much already. Now I'm going to put a liberal amount of olive oil on there. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt, garlic powder on there. Or if you have clove garlic, that's good too. Just for a little bit of bite, I'm going to put some. How about this one? Oh, you got one. Yeah, we got one open already. Put some chili flakes on there. Give it just a little bit of bite. A little salt, even though that garlic's got salt. Some pepper. I like a lot of pepper in my uh, cauliflower. Needs a lot of pepper. And a little bit of oregano. Oregano. What's the smell of oregano? Mmm. You don't want to overpower of it. Okay, now... Just going to mix it all up with the oil. So everything's coated with the oil. And mix it all up in there. Nice and everything's got a coat of olive oil on it. Even the seasons are all done. Okay. Then we're just going to see this is a lot. Wow. Normally, like I said, I don't make this much. This might be too much. Wow. Okay, it's not done yet. It's like it's not. Yeah, we're going to be eating vegetables for a while. My next secret is to throw some breadcrumbs on it. And... Parmesan cheese, liberal amounts of Parmesan cheese. If you have some real mozzarella like balls, that's good to put on it. And the final touch, I'm going to put some. What's that? Uh -oh. Oops, the lid popped open. See, if I had my dog, she'd say, Molly, and she'd come and eat that all off the floor. Some feta cheese. I'm going to set the oven. 350 is good. Bring it with 350. And then we're going to bake it for about yeah, 20, 30 minutes until you stick your fork in the, in the sweet potatoes are soft. And that's it. This is enough to, for a family of six, and there's only two of us. But uh, 
That's we have right. leftovers. Okay. What? You're pointing. I forgot to take a video of me putting this into the bowl, and I she started eating it. She won't stop. Stop eating until I take a video. Stop. <laughs> but no, it means it's good. So this is, uh, I'll show you the plate. Uh, the vegetable melody bake. And what do you think, babe? Mm. I like. You like it? It's good, huh? That it's could just good. be a whole dinner right there. You don't even need anything else. Let me show you what the came out of the oven looking like. So I had to bake it a little bit longer than I normally do because there was a lot of it. No, it's still steaming. Put a little bit of butter on there. Hot diggity dogs. Like I said, I sometimes would just make this. And this would be my whole dinner, just a vegetable. And then the cheese and the breadcrumbs give it a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a body to it. So it has some different tastes. So that's it. That's Mike's Baked Vegetable Melody with cheese and breadcrumbs. Bon appétit.